Hello, this is Dave from SolventPrinterConversion.com. I'm standing here next to an oldie but goodie, uh, Roland FJ50 that we've converted to be a Roland FJ52 with EcoSolvent inks and our media heating system. Um, right now this is part way through a uh, print of a giant donut, so I don't know if that makes you hungry or not. Um, this is running in its normal uh, 360 DPI print mode, which is good for banners and stuff like that. Um, and it's doing a pretty good job. If you're watching some of our other videos, you might have seen the MUTO that we've also got up for sale now. And these two printers are in totally different classes. Um, this one is great if you're just starting out. Um, you can expect print speeds of uh, 20 to 40 square feet an hour or so in the 360 to 720 DPI. Um, which is definitely not as fast as other stuff, but many people find that if you're just getting going, that this will let you get into the eco-solvent printing market um, without borrowing a lot of money or maybe even being able to pay cash um, for it instead of you know getting into a $20,000 printer or something like that, or $30,000 printer. Um, if you're just checking this out, this is a 54-inch printer. It can print about 52 inches of those 54. Um, so you can do, you know, finished four foot wide banners and other things. Um, recently, uh, just today, I was talking with one of our very first customers that we sold a printer to about two years ago, a guy named Joel Keith, uh, Joe Keith in Spencer, Indiana. And he was telling me that uh, his printer that he bought from us was the, the best business investment that he's made, um, which I, I was really touched to hear that. He's been a great customer of ours. And he's got a cool website. Um, which if you want to get an idea of what you can do with one of these printers, because he's got this exact same printer, he's actually got two of them now, because he got a second one, and we converted that one up for him as well. So he's got a matched pair. Um, his, uh, his website is winnerscircledesigns.com. Um, check it out, only just to, to see what one of our customers has done with this. We've got dozens of people out there using these machines, and they're good starter machines. Um, this machine, like most of ours that we sell, has a new pump, new capping station, new heads, new dampers. Um, it's got our special hot box media heating system, which has digitally controlled pre and post heaters. Um, and we've gone over this machine pretty thoroughly, and it's running quite well. Um, these machines are, you know, are not brand new, uh, but this particular generation of Roland has done very well in terms of its build quality. They made very solid machines, they're very well put together, um, and we've had very few uh, serious issues with these. Um, right now this machine is loaded up with our uh, a third party ink that we sell called Image Specialists. Uh, lately we've been selling some machines with Roland EcoSol Max, some with Image Specialists. I'd be happy to talk to you about the pros and cons of third party ink, of what we found and see um, what's going to be a good match for you. Right now we wanted to load this image specialist back into a machine and see how it was doing. We've got many customers that have been running this ink for over a year and many of them have been very pleased um, and it's definitely a significant cost savings um, and I'd be happy to have that conversation with you. you know? um, oh, here's Jillian, my daughter. She wanted to show you a couple things that you can print with this. Here is some of that banner mesh again out there. Pretty cool stuff. We use this for a giant backdrop that we made um, that you could print on this type of printer, no problem. Here, let me grab that other, that other thing there, honey. And here's, uh, here's something else. This is one of our favorite things. This is the one-way vision window film. We do a lot of this on storefronts and you can see out but not in as long as the lighting's right. Pretty cool stuff. Um, so thank you there. This is also, this type of printer was our very first type of printer, if you read our little story. Um, and when we first started doing these retractable banner stands, this is what we were printing them on. Um, you can grow a business from one of these printers. You can do it without breaking the bank. Um, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. I'm going to take you to the other room now real quick and uh, show you a couple other things that you can do with this type. See you in a sec. Here's some examples of stuff that we printed with the same type of printer. Technically these were printed on a, uh, a CJ500 or SC500, but it's got the same print heads, uh, same print mode, same print speeds, same print quality that you'd expect from this uh, FJ52 that we've got here. Um, this is a 13 ounce scrim banner material. Uh, this was a matte Ultraflex Jetflex um, that then we uh, put a clear coat on for extra durability. This has a gloss 
uh, clear coat on top. It makes for real durable, real uh, long lasting banners. Pretty cool. Um, this is a banner mesh material. Um, uh, we use this for stuff where you want something that's a little softer finish, um, but maybe not quite a fabric, or really windy areas. Looks nice. Um, this is something that uh, you might use. This is a pressure sensitive vinyl print that we put a laminate on, um, and we did this with a cold film laminator, and then we mount it to a PSV board or kind of a center board. Um, and so these can be used for all types of displays. But this was printed again on the same, uh, the same type of printer, the same family of printer, the same quality that you could expect from this FJ uh, that we've got up for sale. And uh, we'll spin around here. Sorry to make you dizzy. Um, this is one of my favorite materials. Very cool if you want to do any type of wall graphics. Um, we call it sticky fabric, but it's known as... Uh, Phototex. Phototex, there we go. P H O T O T E X. Great stuff. Prints at a very high resolution. Uh, looks really nice. Great definition. And you can peel it off the wall. Comes off clean. And then you can just smooth it right back on so it's repositionable, reusable, uh, virtually wrinkle free. Um, really cool stuff. Again, printed on the same type of printer. This is another material that we like. We get this one from Fellers. It's called Pop Up. We use it in a lot of roll-up uh, banner stands, stuff like that. Again, same same stuff. You can expect some good quality from these printers. They do a nice job. I'm going to take you back to the other room. Thanks. All right, and we're back here. This uh, donut print is almost done. We're at like 99%. Um, so in a second, I'll cut this off. Uh, this printer's running well. It's a good starter printer. Um, if this is something that you're interested in, I ask that you get in touch with me. Uh, right now I've only got one of these. It is something that we do have from time to time. Um, give me a call, 330-556-5485. We've also got a toll-free number. It's on our website at solventprinterconversion.com. Sometimes I forget what it is. So, um, Or email me, dave at solventprinterconversion.com. Um, we try to do what we can to take care of our customers. We'd be honored to at least talk to you and see if uh, what we have is a good fit. Um, I think... Let's see here. Look at those big donuts. Um, that this is just about done. I was just going to see if I could rip it off. Oh, here, Matt. If you want to zoom in down here at the bottom so you can kind of see. I don't know how it's going to look on the video, but there's our test pattern right now. Um, we've got 100% nozzles firing on everything with those new heads, which will get you off to a good start. So now, Press our sheet cut button here, and this will zip this right off, which is just kind of handy, so I can show you what we did. So, anyway, not that you're going to be printing lots of donuts, but maybe that's something you can check out. Again, Dave at SolvePrinterConversion.com or 330-556-5485. Give me a call if you want to talk about this or uh, one of the other projects we got going on. Take care. Thanks.